When we set out to do this, we succeeded greatly in the way that we ended up accomplishing this project. But at the outset, it was really unknown. We already had an awesome, super fast bike. We developed this bike with racing in mind. I really wanted it to be the fastest production road bike in the world. So we started out with the fastest people we know with the Trek Segafredo race team. We used both the feedback from the men's and the women's team to really understand their needs for the next bike. One of the things that they really stressed that they needed was a lighter system. Moving forward into this generation of Madone, we really tried to optimize the system aerodynamics and weight, all while keeping that awesome ride feel. One of the ways that we did that was to come up with a crazy new frame shape. This new ISOFLOW technology that we've never used before is a great way to integrate in a sleek and simple solution benefits of ISO speed that we've had in the past. The bike is designed around racing, so it's 300 grams lighter than the previous generation bike. And then the aerodynamic component to the bike makes you 60 seconds faster per hour, which is an incredible feat for an engineering bike that we've been shaving grams off of for years. When we set out to create a new aerodynamic road bike, we wanted a comfortable road bike. Those two are very difficult to accomplish in the same bike. Isoflow was uh, the output of a crazy, just try everything kind of brainstorming uh, methodology. The race-focused evolution of Isospeed, the compliance of the new Isoflow system is similar to the uh, previous Madone in its stiffest compliance setting. The ISO flow technology that you see here is a cavity above the seat tube that actually accelerates the airflow through the frame into this low pressure zone of aerodynamics behind the rider. What we really wanted to figure out with that is how we can make the frame more efficient from a structural component. The cantilevered seat mass that you see where the seat tube sits back and holds the seat post, that section is optimized for flex. As you look at the, the middle of the top tube as well, you can see that that's thinner. That allows us to channel the flex of the frame in giving you vertical compliance and system comfort while not sacrificing structural rigidity. We wanted to make the world's fastest road bike. We tried a lot of things, and one of the things that you see here, the Isoflow technology, was really created from that brainstorm. Isoflow is not the only aerodynamic tech on this bike, though we have a lot of optimized tube shapes as well as an all-new cockpit that allows us to optimize system aerodynamics. And I would love to just really quickly go through some of the benefits and particular design features that I worked really hard to include on this bike. One of the biggest components of slowing you down as a rider is the wind. Just at the outset, we set out to make the bike as a system with the rider faster. So not just the bike aerodynamics, but how the bike interacts with the rider is a really important component to aerodynamic development for us at Trek. We looked at a lot of things on the cockpit and fork blades. As you see, the air hits that first. And what we found is that by moving the hoods in just marginally for the rider, we could have a drastic benefit. And so we tried to really give the best of both worlds with a drop shape and a drop depth that's perfect to what they need. It's a horizontal drop so that the riders in the World Tour won't catch their drop ends on anybody like a lot of bars with flair. But the hoods are three centimeters total further inward than the drops. And that really contributes to a huge aerodynamic gain in the rider system because they have less frontal area. The stem and back of the stem shape is optimized for system aerodynamics as well. This new head tube design kicks the air into the top tube, and so we optimize the design of the top tube to account for that. And it's a really clean integration of the brow, the highlight that all Trek road bikes have, and system aerodynamics. The down tube has been optimized for aerodynamic shape. Obviously, this, this big tube is really important to the wind, but it also allows the air to flow over bottles as that air flows off the front wheel over the down tube and off the head tube and into that front triangle. The air is very turbulent in that region. So we designed this isoflow technology that actually channels some of that turbulent air and kicks it into this low pressure zone that's behind the rider as they're kind of plowing through the air. This makes the rider system faster by reducing the rider drag, which as you can imagine is highest on the largest part of the rider body. All of the tube shapes have been optimized, seat tube, chain stays, seat stays, for the flow in those regions as well. And we did all those with weight, stiffness, and aerodynamics in mind. 
the bike as a system is a great ride and makes you faster than any other road bike that we've ever tested. We can already utilize some of the 800 series OCLV carbon that we've used on Imonda to make that bike lighter to make the large tube shapes of Madone even lighter than we had in the past. We also were able to use some awesome optimization software to really scrutinize every cross section of every tube shape for weight, system aerodynamics, and compliance. This has really contributed to the lightest Madone disc we've ever made. Okay, so all the engineering improvements in the world are useless if the bike doesn't fit you well and make you comfortable to ride. The biggest thing that we've changed is the cockpit on this bike. The new, more ergonomic drop shape allows for easier riding in the drops uh, and should make a wider range of hand sizes more comfortable. This bar stem is one piece, but is offered in a lot of sizes to make sure that your fit is optimized. We've also made that bar stem drop shape a little bit more ergonomic for sprinting with better wrist clearance. The seat post on this bike also allows for a larger fit window, especially at the high end of the 62, to allow for people that would want a size 64 bike. This bike as well is offered in our H1.5 geometry. This is great for accessibility as well as for racing. The Numadone is all about speed. This bike is designed around electronic drivetrains only and fits up to 28C tires. If you're interested in a climbing bike, something really lightweight, we have our Amanda. If you're interested in being comfortable for a full day in the saddle, Domani is your go-to. Madone SLR is one of the coolest things that Trek has made, and I really am excited for you to get to experience it.